What's going on there folks? Good afternoon. It is the uh, Earthmaster here on this uh, beautiful Thursday afternoon here in California, September 23rd, 2021. It's a date about 3.27 p.m. California time. The latest quake is going to be a 2.8 out here around the Texas area. Quite a bit of earthquake movement ramping up in the Texas area. Going to go ahead and jump into that real quick. Show you guys what's going on out there in the uh, beautiful Lone Star State um, a lot, a lot of movement, quite a bit of movement taking place here, and we need to kind of be observant of what's going on out there. <clears throat> See if I can get the correct map to show up there. There we go. Zoom in here real quick to the Texas region, and uh, you can see this swarm of activity once again picking up around the Pecos, Texas area. Kind of in a linear type fashion, you kind of see that uh, trail of earthquake activity ramping up there in the. Uh, in that part of the state sitting off to the northwest of Pecos about uh, looks like about 30 miles or so there was a larger magnitude in this cluster of quakes a 4.3 that struck at 8.8 uh, .8 kilometers and uh, quite a bit uh, of movement to the west of there as well and uh, I've been kind of looking at this region it's been kicking up quite a bit of earthquake activity Oh, over the last few months or so there's the uh, 30 days all magnitudes this goes back much further than 30 days but uh, most of the activity is still confined in this little fashion here from from west to east east to west type almost like a little hook little hook uh, horseshoe type um, symbol going on yes there was um, other earthquake activity throughout the state of Texas but most of these um, 297 earthquakes are situated within this region in this little fashion so I uh, kind of want to show you guys what's going on and I've said it before and I believe uh, strongly that these are no doubt um, hydrothermal pumping operations out there or at least the, the remnants of them by the remnants I mean there's a lot of inoperable um, pumping operations to this date going on right now. It doesn't look like that one's uh, in operation, but the damage to the earth is still, it's already been done. I want to sh show you guys here real quick on the, uh, see if I can get, uh, hold on one second here, folks. See if I can get this keyed up. Going to open up Google Earth here and show you guys. Could have swore I had this already kicked up, but maybe I didn't. I guess I did. Gosh darn it. Okay, hold on a second, folks. There we go. Uh, make this a little bit bigger if I can. Not for sure why it goes into that type of format, but it is what it is. So the pin, the yellow pin, is the 4.3 this morning. And uh, the date set for this is, uh, what do we got, 2019 from December. Even then, at least, it doesn't look like there's too much water out here in this um, this wastewater type pond over here yes there's some old and new ones um, that are scattered about in this region in fact they're all over the place all these little roads lead to these pumping operations out here in Texas and that 4.3 struck very close only a few hundred feet from at least one of the pumping operations you can go back over the last couple years or so uh, 2015, you can see this one was pretty operational, um, operable, I should say, uh, with the pooling of the, uh, the water. And uh, we can go back a little bit further before that, a couple years of, of operation. Looks like 2013, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't even thought of. Maybe it was thought of, but it didn't exist um, up until looks like at least October uh, 2014 timeframe. And uh, who knows how long they kept this running and uh you know utilize that uh, pumping operation but the thing is when, when they do this there's no doubt they create uh weak spots in the crust out there and it's all over it is all over let me go back to the other map here and you guys can see it a little bit better on that scale There's a lot. 
don't know if you guys can see all these little square boxes out there in, in the uh, land but these are all a lot of them are old ones and there's a whole bunch of them out there folks so I, I strongly believe that these are uh, fracking operations or pumping operational quakes that are going on uh, due to the pressure out here along the North American uh, plate weak areas in the crust kind of just uh, I guess collapsing is, is the word you could use uh, underneath stress and pressure and whatnot I looked at some fault systems out there there's not a whole lot of info on the uh, let's see if I can get this to key up on the fault systems here in this part of Texas uh, at least around the Pecos Texas area I don't see a whole lot of uh, uh, fault systems at all measured uh, by the USGS <clears throat> so yeah, definitely not 100% certain that these are uh, um, uh, fault earthquakes, you know, uh, plate tectonic stress, but more so on the terms of uh, pumping operation mishaps and collapses. Unless there's some type of underground tunnel being dug from, uh, who knows why, Guadalupe Peak to Pecos? I don't know. I don't know why they would do that, but... <laughs> Either way, it's kind of cool to watch. It's interesting to watch, and the magnitudes sometimes kind of get a little bit uh, on the on the side of uh, where folks can actually start filling it. And it looks like a few folks did report filling this earthquake uh, around the Pecos, Texas region. 4.3 will be felt by many folks in that area. Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. There's a little bit of activity kicking up in Yellowstone as well. Kind of gives a general indication of buildup stress along the uh, North American plate here um, with the Pacific plate well well over to the west it can no doubt uh, cause these quakes inland to uh, ramp up quite a bit <clears throat> excuse me let's go ahead and check out the activity down here in the Gulf of California region where they had a 5.6 uh, earlier today it looks like there may have been two earthquakes 5.2 and a 5.6 within seconds of each other um, and this comes after all the earthquake activity down off the coast of the Middle American Trench here where we had that, uh, let's see if I can kick that back up here, where they, we had that 6.5 yesterday. So since then, we have been seeing earthquake activity ramp up to the north. And uh, I think... Uh, a lot of activity here in the west coast too along this plate boundary the San Andreas Fault been picking up as well. Um, we're also looking at a little swarm along the Imperial Fault. That's a system right here kind of just south of the Brawley Seismic Zone, the extensional San Andreas Fault system. Imperial Fault kind of begins right there at least according to the USGS studies. There's uh, oh, a handful of quakes on, directly on the Imperial Fault. Uh, a couple twos and some uh, smaller ones. But a good indicator, no doubt, of uh, some pressure being built up here along the west coast. There's some movement further on the Calaveras Fault System. And also a little earthquake near Fremont, or Newark, it looks like, 2.0. Pretty deep earthquake activity there, 13 kilometers. And also another earthquake uh, off the coast of uh, Northern California, a little 2.6. Way down there, 19 kilometers on the Cascadia Subduction Zone. Inland, uh, really ramping up here today in parts of Nevada and the Mono Lake area once again. This activity kind of kicked up yesterday, and we are seeing that continue today, uh, but uh, not as enhanced. These are just variable earthquakes, uh, not, no main shake yet, just kind of like a little swarm. I definitely call that a swarm there around Mono Lake, also up here around the Antelope Valley area as well. That swarm is continuing in a large fashion. These these swarms and earthquakes kind of bounce back between uh, this side of the Antelope Valley and uh, the west side. It uh, just kind of seems to bounce back and forth there. It's kind of crazy to watch. Carson City area also looking at some earthquake activity in uh, parts of Nevada south of uh, Dayton. Just some small quakes and some of these are registering zero. Not for sure what's going on with that, but they are registering on the USGS map. Uh, Pacific Northwest, fairly quiet as far as the uh, volcanoes go. Just a couple small sporadic earthquakes throughout uh, parts of Washington. 
uh, up along the uh, uh, the coast here, the Pacific Plate, North American Plate, off the coast of British Columbia, pretty quiet. And the Aleutian Trench, awfully quiet as well. Just a little swarm over here around the, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of that volcano over there, but uh, just a couple small microquakes in that region. But man, look at this. Look at this activity, still very quiet all the way down here, all the way down. Solomon Islands, a little bit of movement down there. Also Tonga getting some activity. Another earthquake in the deeper department here. And to uh, see, this is the area we gotta watch. This 4.1 struck at uh, 265 kilometers. We got the Hikarangi subduction zone. It's always been kind of a, uh, an interesting topic to study. And this potential here is very, it's uncertain, uh, but the pot potential there for a great earthquake is, uh, it's, it's, it's there. But there's not a whole lot of historical earthquake activity on this region, but we do know it's there. Uh, it's a Hikarungi subduction zone region. So this deeper movement, uh, just north of New Zealand, 265 uh, kilometers below the surface. Got to be on guard for this region right here. Kind of putting some more stress and uh, some buildup in that region of the Hikarungi subduction zone. Australia looking pretty quiet as far as their earthquake activity goes. Of course, uh, what do we have that uh, good size one? 5.9 northeast of Melbourne a couple days ago. Since then, uh, not a whole lot of movement, at least according to the USGS. Uh, what else we got here? The South Sandwich Islands, pretty quiet. Uh, only one earthquake, a little 4.9. And the South America region. Some deeper movement up north into the Peru Chile Trench with a shallow 4.5 down south um, off the coast of Chile. <clears throat> Puerto Rico, once again, uh, let's see if, what do we got up here. Yeah, it has gone relatively quiet here into the uh, uh, Puerto Rico Trench region. Most of this earthquake activity was from yesterday, although. We did see a 40 kilometer deep 3.6 strike today. We'll see if uh, that wants to kick up and start swarming that area again. Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Yellowstone National Park, the USGS uh, showing a few earthquakes uh, swarming northwest of Yellowstone Lake. Looks like about 22 earthquakes within this uh, area of Yellowstone uh, Park. Let's go ahead and check out the Yellowstone seismograph station so we can see a little bit of uh, the activity that's kicking up here. The eastern part of the park looks fairly quiet. Uh, these earthquakes right here that you're seeing are the, uh, uh, the five point, uh, what was it, down there in the Gulf. Those are the uh, earthquakes down there in the uh, Gulf of California earlier today that are kicking up on some of these stations. Those are not localized earthquakes. The localized earthquakes are going to look something like this right around the Maple Creek area. Quite a bit of uh, um, earthquake activity, most of it microquakes. There's the Gulf of California earthquakes there earlier this morning. Gonna leave some uh, S waves there as well. But uh, yeah, pretty good intense little swarm of earthquake activity there earlier, way earlier this morning, the last couple hours, not a whole lot. Looks like some more, some smaller spikes kicking off. But uh, of course, Yellowstone always uh, Always making noise once in a while. I shouldn't say noise, but uh, some earthquake activity. Also down here around the Pitchstone Plateau, a little independent earthquake activity of its own, separate from the uh, ongoing activity up to the northwest here. So kind of watching that. Sometimes we get uh, some separate swarms, and that's kind of what it looks like is what's going on um, in this area within the last hour or so. Uh, as far as the trimmer map from yesterday, I haven't really seen this. It looks like, wow, man, quite a bit of tremor into southern Oregon and uh, parts of northwestern California. It's the southern end of the Cascadia really ramping up with, uh, looks like, uh, 272 epicenters of tremor into this area of the Cascadia um, with only minimal surface quaking. This isn't really even a surface quake. Pretty uh, somewhat deep earthquake in this movement, 19 kilometers. But uh, trimmer, subduction, that's ultimately continued strain up here, folks, on the Cascadia locked area. 
All right, guys, we're going to jump off here. Live stream did go down earlier. Uh, it was about 11.30 my time when it went down, surprisingly. Not, not for sure why. Just periodically someone doesn't want me to stream. So they, they pull the plug on my computer and, and somehow it magically resets. Anyway, we'll get to the bottom of it one of these days. All right, guys, have a good day out there. Stay safe. <clears throat> we will be back a little bit later on tonight. Till then, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.